Hi everyone, this is Chandan and welcome to Channel Logics. In this video, we are going to solve 20 questions in less than 10 minutes of time. And what are the questions we are going to solve in this video are nothing but the questions that was asked in IBPS RRB PO 2020 examination which was conducted today. And all these questions are nothing but questions from the first shift. So we are going to solve all these 20 memory based questions in just less than 10 minutes of time. And the topics we are going to cover in this video are nothing but questions based upon number series, quadratic equations, coded inequalities and syllogisms. From these four topics, we got 20 questions. We'll solve all these 20 questions in just less than 10 minutes of time. And one more important thing, if you're looking for Telugu videos, then what you're supposed to do is like, we have launched our new YouTube channel, Chandan Logics Telugu. We have provided our new YouTube channel link in the description. You can click on that link and you can subscribe to our new channel. There you can find the same video in Telugu language also. Okay, so now let's start and solve all these 20 questions in just less than 10 minutes of time. And we are going to solve this in just less than 10 minutes. Okay, so what all you guys need to do is like observe the approaches. Okay, I'm not going to explain the complete concept. You guys need to observe the approach here. Okay, let us look at the first question. So first question it is saying 1.5, 3, 12, 72 and question mark. So if you observe the series, the series is gradually increasing. As the series is gradually increasing, if you observe 1.5 into 2 is nothing but 3. Similarly, 3 into 4 is nothing but 12. Similarly, 12 into 6 is 72. Similarly, if you observe here 2, 4, 6, the next even number should be 8. 72 into 8 will be 560 plus 16, which is nothing but 576, which means answer for the first question is 576. Very, very simple question. Let's look at the next one. 80, 66, 85, 71, 90, question mark. Now, if you observe this question, it is not gradually increasing or it is not gradually decreasing. Okay, so if you observe here, this question is based upon alternate series. If you observe here, 80 plus 5 is nothing but 85. Similarly, 85 plus 5 is nothing but 90. Similarly, 66 plus 5 is nothing but 71. 71 plus 5. 71 plus 5 will be 76. So answer for the question is nothing but 76. Very simple question. If you observe here, the series is nothing but alternate series. Okay. Very, very simple question. So let us look at the next question. Next question is 163, question mark, 43, 23, 13, 8. Now if you, if you observe here, in this series, the series is gradually decreasing. Okay. So let us take the difference. If you take the difference here, 8 and 13 difference will be 5 similarly 13 and 23 difference will be 10 similarly 23 and 43 difference will be 20 if you observe here this is 5 this is 10 this is 20 then what should be the next one if you observe here it is getting double 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 5 double 10 10 double 20 20 double should be 40 which means 43 plus 40 it is nothing but 83 which means answer for the question is nothing but 83 and if you observe here the difference is nothing but 80 so it's okay okay so answer for this question is simply 83 very very simple questions and look here guys as i'm explaining you i'm taking little time and if i'm going to do it in the examination i'm going to do it much faster let's look at the next one 150 148 143 133 116 question mark if you observe the series the series is gradually decreasing okay let us take the difference difference here is 2 and here difference is 48 and 43 difference is 5 and here the difference is 10 and here the difference is 17 
and if you observe the differences 2 can be represented as 1 square plus 1 5 can be represented as 2 square plus 1 10 can be represented as 3 square plus 1 17 can be represented as 4 square plus 1 now the next one should be 5 square plus 1 now 5 square plus 1 is nothing but 25 plus 1 26 which means 116 minus 26 which means answer is nothing but 90 very very simple question and all these are nothing but exact questions that was asked in our first shift okay let's look at the next question look at the next one 3.5 2.5 3 6 20 question mark now the series is increasing gradually increasing so observe here 3.5 into 1 minus 1 3.5 into 1 is 3.1 3.5 minus 1 is nothing but 2.5 similarly 2.5 into 2 is nothing but 5 5 minus 2 is 3 similarly 3 into 3 minus 3 3 into 3 is 9, 9 minus 3 is nothing but 6. Similarly, 6 into 4 minus 4, 6 4 times 24, 24 minus 4, it will be 20. Now, this will be into 5 minus 5. 20 into 5 is 100, 100 minus 5 is nothing but 95. So, answer for this question is 95, which means you can solve all these 5 questions in just 2 minutes of time very very simple questions okay and we'll solve the remaining questions also in the next upcoming videos okay in this video we are going to solve all the four questions why because we have data regarding all these four topics okay let us look at the next one now these five questions are based upon quadratic equations and these are the questions that came in our first shift now let us look at the first one x square plus 9x plus 20 equal to 0 and 8y square minus 15y plus 7 equal to 0. Now, by just looking at the question itself, I can say that answer is nothing but x less than y. I will not solve this question also. Just by looking at the question, I will say answer is x less than y. Why? Because if you observe here, now this is like positive sign, positive sign. If you observe here, this is negative sign and this is positive sign, which means here the roots are negative roots. Here the roots are positive roots. Now when we know that these are negative and these are positive, x value is negative, y value is positive, which means that I can simply say x is less than y. That's it. So you not solve this question completely. Just by looking at the question itself, you can mark the answer in just two seconds of time. Let's look at the next one. x square minus 11x plus 30 equal to 0. Similarly, y square plus 12y plus 36 equal to 0. Now, even this question can be solved in just a fraction of seconds. Now, just by looking at the question itself, I can say that answer is x greater than y. Why? Because here the roots are positive, but here the roots are negative. Obviously, we know that positive value is greater than negative value. So, we can say that x is greater than y. Just 2 seconds of time. You not solve the question completely also. Just 2 seconds of time. Let's look at the next one. x square plus 13x plus 30 equal to 0. y square plus 7y plus 10 equal to 0. And obviously, you have to solve this question. You can't mark the answer directly. Why? Because these two questions, you can mark the answer directly. Why? Because the question is given in such a manner. But here the question is not given similar to the above questions. So you have to solve these questions. Now, if you observe here, this is 13. Now, I can write 13 as 10 plus 3. 10 into 3 is like 30, okay? Now, roots are nothing but minus 10 minus 3. These are nothing but roots. Now, if you look here, this is like 10. So, 10, I can write it as 7 can be written as 5, 2. 5 into 2 is nothing but 10, okay? Now, roots are nothing but minus 5 minus 2. Now, if you observe here, this is minus 10, minus 3. This is minus 5, minus 2. Now, if you observe here, simply by looking at the numbers, I can say answer as C and D, which means cannot be determined. Why? Because in the X, we have one bigger value and one smaller value. In Y, we have one bigger value, one smaller value. 
and already we know that if we have one bigger value in x and one bigger value in y and similarly one bigger value in y and one bigger value in x now what happens is like when you compare both of them one time x will be greater and another time x will be less so one time x is greater and another time x is less we will know that we know that the value for this or answer for this is nothing but cannot be determined okay very simple question why because if you observe here if we compare minus 3 and minus 5 we know that x is greater but if you observe here when you compare minus 2 and minus 10 then y is greater when y is greater means obviously x is less which means one time x is greater and another time x is lesser so obviously answer will be can't be determined okay and all you guys need to observe the approach i am not explaining the concept completely i am just showing you the approach for these questions now let us look at the next one x square minus 20x plus 91 equal to 0. Similarly, y square plus 16y plus 63 equal to 0. Even this question can be answered in just fraction of seconds. x value positive, y value negative, which means answer is x greater than y. Just a fraction of seconds. You will not solve all the question. Why? Because this is like positive roots. This is negative roots. So directly I can say that answer is x greater than y. Let us look at the next one x square minus x minus 12 equal to 0 and one more is y square plus 5y plus equal 6 equal to 0. We need to solve this question. When you solve this question minus x, I can write it as minus 4 minus 4 plus 3. Okay. Minus 4 plus 3 is nothing but minus x. Minus 4 into plus 3 is nothing but minus 12. Now roots, what are the roots? Roots are nothing but opposite term, opposite sign, which means roots are nothing but plus 4 minus 3. These are nothing but roots. Now, if you observe here, in this 5 can be written as 3, 2. 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 into 2 is 6. Roots, roots are nothing but minus 3, minus 2. Okay. Now, if you observe here, 4 is greater than minus 3. Similarly, if you observe here, minus 2 is greater than minus 3, which means x is greater one time and another time x is less. So, I can say that answer for this question is nothing but C and D can't be determined. So, all these five questions can be answered in just two minutes of time. You don't even need two minutes of time. If you're really smart, this question two seconds and similarly, this question two seconds, this question two seconds. You just need to solve only these two questions. And even these two questions are also just very simple questions where you can solve all these five questions in less than two minutes of time okay let us look at the next one now next are nothing but questions based upon coded inequalities okay in code inequalities you will be having five golden rules if you are perfect in those five golden rules you can solve any format of code inequalities questions in just two minutes of time okay let us look at that now if you observe here i need relation between r and x this is r this is x r and x common symbol is greater than so answer is r greater than x first one is okay let us look at the second one x and w okay now if you look here this is w and this is x now these are two different statements so we need a connection between them if you look here t is greater than x now t is greater than x can be written as x less than t x less than t t less than w which means common symbol is less than so answer is x less than w so first one is okay second one is okay both are right answers so we can say answer is nothing but both one and two very very simple questions once if you know the concept okay let's look at the next one e equal to f less than g less than h next statement g greater than equal to i look at the first one h greater than i h is here i is here the common thing over here is g g is the common one now if you look here g less than h can be written as h greater than g okay g less than h can be written as h greater than g h greater than g g greater than equal to i so common symbol is greater than so h greater than i h greater than i first one will be right answer similarly look at the next one e i if you look here this is e this is i what is the common one common one is like g if we observe here e and g relation is less than g and i relation is greater than which means opposite symbols opposite symbols means no relation 
no relation so this is wrong answer so we can say that answer for this question is nothing but only conclusion one follows okay let's look at the next one next one is like i need relation between c and a look here directly common symbol is greater than a greater than c a greater than c or c less than a both are right okay so both are same so first one will be right answer similarly look at the next one bd so look here this is d and this is b we have a common person who is the common person common person is c now look here b greater than c b greater than c can be written as c less than b okay b greater than c can be written as c less than b now if you observe here this is d and this is b now if you observe here these are like opposite symbols as it is opposite symbols relation between b and d is nothing but no relation as it is no relation answer is going to be wrong which means only conclusion one is nothing but right answer okay all these are simple just you can mark these answers in just a fraction of seconds once if you know the concept let's look at the next one i need relation between kp k is here p is here and the common person we have to connect is nothing but n n is nothing but common now if you look here relation between k and n relation between k and n is k less than equal to n now k less than equal to n can be written as n greater than equal to k right why because k and n relation is k less than equal to n k less than equal to n can be written as n greater than equal to k now if you observe here p and k relation is nothing but p greater than or equal to k p greater than equal to k is same as p greater than equal to k is same as k greater than equal to sorry k less than equal to p k less than p k equal to p now this is right this is right as this is either or why because k less than or equal to p so you need to mark answer as either okay why because relation between k and p is nothing but k less than or equal to p so k less than or equal to p so answer is nothing but either conclusion one or two follows okay let's look at the next one fifth question i need relation between k g look here this is k and this is g we have common f f is common f less than g can be written as f less than g now this is f less than g so can i write it as f less than g now kg opposite symbols opposite symbol means wrong answer this is like kd now if you look here kd this is k and this is d we have common who we have in common f now d less than f d less than f can be written as f greater than d okay d less than f can be written as f greater than d which means k greater than d so k greater than d this will be your right answer so only second one will be right answer first one is wrong only two follows okay very very simple questions and look here once if you guys are really comfortable in the concept you can solve all these questions in just less than two minutes and i need all you guys to share our videos why because if you share our videos we are going to get really much motivated and i'm going to do more and more videos for you guys okay if you like this session like the session click on the like button and try to share our videos with as many friends as possible let us look at the next one and these questions are nothing but based upon syllogisms okay let us look at this even syllogisms also very simple concept first statement only a few src look here only a few src now this is how you represent only a few src which means s cannot be completely inside c that is the reason i am representing it as only a few src next one only d is c only d is same as all c are d so all c are d okay next one few dra few dra or some dra both are same okay now this is like few dra so statement completed now let us look at the options first one all d being s is a possibility they're asking possibility all d being s is a possibility look here can all d be s yes? all d being s yes? which means d can go completely inside yes there is no issue it's possible so first one will be right answer next one some yes are not yes when it is some not what you are supposed to do is like simply you check whether the first element can go inside the second element or not 
now it is some s or not a which means i will check whether s can go inside a or not look here can s go inside a yes s can happily go inside a as s can go happily inside a which means all s or a is possible so simply this will be your wrong answer so whenever you come across some not you just need to do first element can go inside the second element or not you just check it if first element can go inside the second element you directly mark it as wrong answer if the first element cannot go inside the second element then answer will be right answer but in this question yes can completely go inside a there is no issue okay why because yes can go completely inside a this is okay so as it is possible now this is going to be wrong answer so only one is right answer okay very very simple question try to share our videos with as many friends as possible and if you are going to like this session click on the like button also okay let's look at the next one no n is yum no n is yum next one some o is p next one all m r p all m r p and the second statement is nothing but some o r p some o r p this was our representation let's look at the conclusion some n is not o even this is some not what i told you to check check whether the first element can go inside the second element or not n can go inside o or not this is n n can happily go inside o yes it can go it's possible so this is wrong answer so first one is wrong let's look at the second one some o is not n even this is some not so what you need to check first element can go inside the second element or not which means o can go inside m or not this is o yes now o can go happily inside m so o can go inside m it is possible as it is possible even this is going to be wrong answer so first one is wrong second one is wrong as both are wrong answers now answer is nothing but neither okay why because this is not a complementary pair we have only three complementary pairs one is some no another is all some not and one more is some some not but this is not a complementary pair even this is some not even this is some not as this is not a complementary pair so answer is nothing but neither one nor two follows okay let's look at the next one statement some a r o some a r o next one some g r p next one no o is p no o is p and statement is like some g r p so this is like representation let's look at the conclusion some p r not g which means p can go inside g or not this is p p can go happily inside g as p can go inside g this is wrong answer next all p r g all p r g means p should be inside g look here is p inside g no p is only some part inside g when it is only some part inside g i will call it as some but not all so this is nothing but wrong answer so first conclusion is wrong second conclusion is wrong now both are wrong and if you observe here this is a complementary pair why because all some not is a complementary pair and if you look here discussion is also same now this is complementary pair and discussion is also same so we are going to mark answer for this question is nothing but either it's not neither it's either why because some not all is a complementary pair and even here the discussion is also same so answer will be either let's look at the next one look at the fourth question only a is b which is same as all b r a next one few a is p which is same as some a r p next one all p r e n so all p r e n this is your representation conclusion some n is b some is nothing but intersection now look here n and b intersection this is n this is b there is intersection no intersection no intersection wrong answer next one some p is b this is p sorry this is p this is b do they have intersection no intersection no intersection wrong answer so both of them are wrong answers now this is not a complementary pair so answer for this question is nothing but neither okay very very simple questions once if you know the concept you can solve all these five questions in just less than 2 minutes and if you observe here as i was explaining you i am taking time 
and if i am going to do it by my own i will not take time to solve these questions why because i need not explain to anyone examination but as i was explaining to you guys i am taking time okay but when i am doing by my own in examination i will just go on representing and marking the answer okay i will not explain it to anyone let's look at the final question from syllogisms okay only a few m is g now this is only a few m is g so whenever you have only a few represent diagram in this way which means this m can't go completely inside g but g can go inside m okay next one only a few g r a so only a few g r a next one few a r l few a r l that is some that is like some a r l okay let's go to the conclusion all a can be b can is something but a possibility okay can is possibility all a can be b means can all a go inside m yes look at this now this is a can a go inside m yes it's possible a can go completely inside m it's possible so one is right answer why because a can go happily inside m why because can is nothing but possibility look here a can completely go inside m it's possible so first is right answer next one all m can be a which means m can come inside a or not look here this is m now can m come inside a yes m can come happily inside a it's possible so even this is right answer so one is possible two is possible so both are possible so we'll mark answer as both one and two are right answers okay now even these five questions we can solve in just less than two minutes now if you observe here we have solved questions from number series we have solved questions from quadratic equations we have solved questions from coded inequalities and we have solved questions from syllogisms now if you observe here all these 20 marks you can just get them in eight minutes of time eight minutes of time and if you're really smart even eight minutes also not required you can solve less than that okay but you not spend much time while you're writing examination just eight minutes is sufficient but the only thing is like you need to know the proper concept once if you know the proper concept you can solve all these questions in just less than eight minutes and we will be solving the remaining questions that was asked in today's examination in the next upcoming videos okay so what i need from you guys is like share our videos with the maximum number of friends and whatever the videos we are going to do in the upcoming days we are going to do all our videos in english language only so we are really extremely sorry and for the inconvenience that was caused to all the subscribers who are from north states why because these many days we have been teaching our videos in telugu language so many of the guys felt really uncomfortable so we are extremely sorry for that so from now we are going to teach all our videos in english language only so we need all you guys to support us and share our videos with maximum number of friends and if you really like this session click on the like button and support us Stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Meet the next session. Bye-bye.